some young broke dude. This is gonna be the greatest video ever. I can feel it. I am wanted in the state of New Hampshire for 13 counts of home invasion from 2011 to 2015. Farewell, maiden. Jeez, I'm actually a maiden in real life. Never had sex. Thank you for the enlightening comments. Yeah, I'm a virgin delinquent and a noob, and I look like 12, and I'm old. Like, I'm 19. I wanted to do drugs at some point. My dad invited us tomorrow to an event we always go to every year, and now I'm probably not even going to be able to walk. Shower sex fucking destroys my leg muscles. <laughs> I tried the cookie dough ice cream, and even though my uncle sexually abused me as a child, I enjoyed the ice cream. When I wash, I spend literally, I kid you not, almost 30 minutes making sure that my dick don't stink. So I'm good. I don't know about other guys. I keep hearing horror stories from girls about how they fucked a hoe and that hoe had a dirty smelling dick. Does yo stink, bro? Okay. Yo, yo, my dick doesn't stink. Are you okay? I'm fine, dude. <laughs> I'm in science right now. My science teacher's on a rant, and he's literally talking about how dick stinks worse than cootie. <laughs> Some days school can be lit, dog. <laughs> I have been to Walmart twice in five years. I am a modest, cultured meme lord that follows multiple meme YouTube channels, and I don't wear brand. I actually like what's a underrated. Take my shoes, for example, and I don't consider myself to be basic in general compared to the others. I never use emojis. I use homemade profile pictures of something I like, and my only bio is a dot. I actually have sense of humor, and I know what memes are, so I don't think I'm a local. Public thank you to whoever left this pristine example of luxury furniture in their hard rubbish pile. You have, sorry younger viewers, transformed me and my wife's sex life. Something about the eyes gets my wife going. So the iPhone 11 makes everything seem bigger and more clear in photos? My nipples are about to look like an aerial view of two helicopter pads. Name a better bitch than Kylie Jenner. Uh, me? I'm a fucking six foot two lesbian who fucking took over a town of homophobic Christians by making out with my girlfriend in public and shutting down shops by standing in front of them and holding hands. Anyone else wrap a wet paper towel around your hot dog when cooking it in the microwave? Cause I do. <laughs> Small pee pee pig. Small pee pee pig emerges. If it was a pick of my schlag instead of the one in the pick, it'd say... Monster anaconda of a cock. Almost inhuman. A penis shouldn't be allowed to be this huge. <laughs> Just so everyone knows that I'm in a relationship and I'm happy with the guy I'm with. Okay, so somebody asked me if I could lift this table with one finger. Thank God every day for mercy and blessing me with real Hulk power. Hashtag Lakers. This baby, born on Standing Rock Indian Reservation, was named Me Wakoni, which means water is life. My grandson is named Chad. That's amazing. She has more faces than my ex-wife. One that would say she loved me, and the other that'd screw every guy at her office that'd have a short conversation with her. There was also one that did salvia or shrooms in the bathroom, and I'd end up having to run away from a drugged out crazy woman. It's probably lucky we didn't have kids, but if we did, I'd show them this video to amaze them with how lights can cause illusions. Say, do you have one that can make my dong look bigger since I have to be in the dating game again? Hi, all. Is anyone else's lights flickering on 34th Street? Thanks! No, <laughs> the only thing flicking here is my wife's bean. What the fuck? Dribble God. First of all, I work for my money and I make what your mom and dad both make it a year plus sub, so get your hating self out of this post, loser. R slash nobody asked. Dude, what the fuck? It would have been way more classy if you just ignored the comment instead of giving this answer. R slash nobody asked. Male suicide is the biggest killer of men under 50. It is preventable. Let's not man up. Let's not tough it out. Let's find true strength instead. Let's show our vulnerability. Let's stop faking macho bullshit. Let's change. Yeah, I would follow this, but I'm not a pussy, and my girlfriend with whom I have many sex with also said this is pussy shit. Yeah, right. 
I don't have to prove anything to you. <laughs> I have 2,200 matches on Tinder, and I still have a higher SAT score than that, and definitely of you. <laughs> R slash I am very badass. R slash nobody asked. R slash I am very smart. You are a gold mine for karma. I don't think that's true. I've spent more than four hours in the water before and never lost a nail. Perhaps you're correct. I spent 15 minutes trying to find an article about it, but I failed. Maybe it's because I'm shit-faced at a whorehouse in Peru, but I know it's there. Name something you would never buy used. I was going to say condoms, but I got a vasectomy, so I don't need those anymore, so I'm going with toothbrush. Five stars, but so it was my boyfriend's birthday and he really loved this bracelet. Being the kind person I am, I bought him it and he loved it. Two days later, I figure out he cheated on me. Therefore, this bracelet is dope, but a bad memory. I love all the bracelets I have purchased from you guys, though. When a lesbian took my virginity away two years ago at age 39, there was a lot of oral sex given and received, and I kissed her deeply afterward. I hope I get to experience sex again sometime soon. Quality over quantity, though. I want to have a meaningful friendship at least. She can try to teat me anytime, breakfast, lunch, or even brunch. I would eat her for breakfast, if you know what I mean. I mean, eat her pussy. I have met loads of celebrities and did not find out who they were until later. The music stands for itself and I never was one for celebrity worship. Now it's a thing that even if I recognize the person I am talking to, I just treat them like a regular person. It makes it incredibly easy to hang out with superstars. Cool story, r slash nobody asked. Who are these celebrities and superstars you speak of? But what should it matter what others think? Your opinion obviously matters to her because you're her boyfriend. I just want to know your opinion, bro. Nobody else should matter. Just you. Can I say something just between you and me? Go for it, man. My penis is really small. Sorry, I'm gonna be absent from keyboard for a bit, playing Minecraft, getting my server ready for YouTube, because the girl I was with in real life cheated in front of me and I saw it while I was skating, so I'm a gopher now. This is like how I shove quarters and dollar bills up my asshole, then shit them out in the bathroom at the gas station. I then give my shitty money to the disgusted clerk in exchange for 30 on pump 4. I love the disgusted reactions on their faces as my slimy money touches their bare hands. They have no choice. Most of them are drug addicts and low lives. They can't work anywhere else, so they must accept the fecal money, lest they be fired and forced from their shitty but safe domicile onto the cold, unforgiving streets. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to have diarrhea. Like it's grumbling in my stomach. I already farted out brown water in the toilet. I feel like it's coming out soon.